vibe. I just jumped in, guys. What is up? We have, oh, was that, that's an old chat? What are we doing here? I can't even freaking see it. Uh, let me try and pull it up on the computer. You have four likes, one person in here. I'm killing it. I'm killing it right now. What's up, guys? What is up, Lopez? What's up, Jacob? How the hell is everybody doing? We're doing a giveaway today. How's the audio, by the way? Because I'm using one of these ear pods. Yeah, Nick, this is live. So we... There's already 10 people in here. Dope. Uh, what's up, Ed? So we got um, we got an old giveaway that we haven't announced the winner. We haven't picked a winner for. So we're going to, uh, through most of the live, we're going to allow you guys to um, go ahead and still sign up for this. It's kind of scratchy, but we can hear you. Uh, let me see. Uh, this might be better. Is that better? Is that better? Sounds like my, I'm underwater. That is not what we want. Is that better, guys? All right, so let's see. Let's get up the giveaway video. So I'll, I'll link uh, the old giveaway. We have this. We're giving away all this tonight. It's not much. I'll show you guys what's in there in a minute. But then tonight live, we're going to give away everything that's in this box. I just grabbed tons of, like, old gear. Some of it's, like, I've even used a few of the soft plastics out of these. I just had so much stuff lying around. I cleaned up the office, and I filled this entire uh, box with lures that we're just going to give away. We're just going to give them away. So we're going to do that tonight, and we'll show you guys what's going on with that. I have frogs, Nick. I definitely have frogs. Also, Taya's is, is coming home at some point here. She'll be home soon. She'll be able to help uh, with this giveaway. Sounds way better. Everybody says sounds way better. All right, so let me get you guys the link to the giveaway real quick. We'll put it in the description, and I'll, I'll also put it in the chat as well, the old giveaway if you guys want to go sign up. We'll pick the winner for that in a little bit. And we will also obviously give away this giant box of tons of stuff that we have. Muted right now, at least for the next half hour. <laughs> nice, James. All right, let's uh, let's see here. This is the video. And we'll copy it. Edit this. All right. Enter. Give away. All right, guys. So if you're not uh, already entered in the giveaway, please um, go check the description. In the description, there'll be the link to the old giveaway. And like I said, we're giving away uh, this stuff. And then live tonight, we're giving away a ton of lures. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I haven't even figured out how we're going to do that yet, either like by commenting on this video or trivia. I love the trivia stuff. I love doing the trivia. Also, guys, if you can, do me a favor, share this uh share this live giveaway for me uh i'd be, I'd be grateful I'd be grateful for it i don't want to win anything unless you throw in your hat which hat this one? Oh, nick thanks bro that, you want the old red Sox hat this thing has freaking seen some shit nick you are the man what's up ryan david adventures with d brandon uh Jimmy's in here, raw fishing. We got a good crew today. I love it. Um, all right, so in the chat, that's the link, guys. I just put it in the chat as well. If you guys want to go enter the other, uh, the old giveaway, we got two giveaways going on tonight. 
So how the hell is everybody? I had a freaking crazy day. I caught my personal best carp today at 22 pounds. I broke the freaking 20 pound marker. Uh, but of course, Beck had to show me up. It was her second time ever coming carp fishing with us. Second time ever carp fishing, and she, on her very sec, her second carp ever in her life, uh, she broke 30 pounds, which is absolutely insane. Insane. Like you got guys that, that are out there carp fishing all the time that still haven't caught one over 30. So. Today was a hell of a day. I'm in a really good mood. I hope everybody else is having a really good day. Adventures with D just got the boat out of storage. Dope. Got to get out there. Got to get out there, guys. Oh, my hair is a disaster. I got the COVID cut like you wouldn't believe, guys. It sucks. We're drinking uh, some upside down looking beer. I don't, I don't, maybe they did this wrong or if it's supposed to be like that stone IPA but everything's upside down uh, just, just so awkward 30, 30 pound carp is freaking crazy yeah Becca's pumped I don't know if she posted about it yet or not so that's a, that's a spoiler alert for you guys cut the hair like mine david i don't know i'm thinking about just letting this hair grow dude like hippie style when i was a little kid i'm gonna get dreadlocks again i don't know if you guys uh, saw the last video um from the texas series but the good buddy of my buddy keith's and mine told the story of how i hitchhiked down to maryland uh to party down there with when i had my dreadlocks back in the day it was it was really funny it's, it's funny hearing that story coming from uh, a different perspective because I've told that story so many times. Oh, I just saw Nick entered. Nick entered in the other giveaway. So, yeah, guys, if, you, if you're uh, just joining us right now, uh, we're doing a disc giveaway. We'll show what's in here in a minute. A bunch of, st bunch of random stuff in here that we're giving away. And then as I cleaned out my office a couple days ago, I literally filled this entire thing to the brim this box is filled like to the brim with lures and we'll go through that in a minute i just figured hang out for a couple minutes you know chill chill i, I mean it's funny like uh you know i, I never want to sign into a live and then as soon as i sign into a live i'm like oh this is fun immediately i know i say that like every time but the texas fishing uh yeah dude I'm in love with Texas. I'm in I'm in love with me some Texas. Here's the thing. Here's the one thing. I fell in love with fishing the salt water big time last year. Uh, I got super addicted to it. I'm really looking forward to getting out on the ocean again real soon. And it's going to be real, real soon. Like way sooner than uh, it seems. Like probably within the next week or so. But, um, uh, you know... The, the part of Texas that we were at doesn't have the ocean. So basically, if I do go back to Texas, I definitely still want to hit up Dallas again, but I really want to see what, like, Houston's all about. And we got big plans in the future, guys. I know I've talked about it a little bit on the channel before. Uh, recently, I want to build a bus so I can travel and just, like, I go full-time into you know, the fishing industry, uh, whether it be traveling and being a mate up and down the coast, uh, going out to California, being a mate out there, doing that kind of stuff. Or if like, you know, if my YouTube ends up getting, making me enough, then that's what we'll do. We'll just travel, uh, with the bus and do our thing. That's the goal. You know, I know I got to be near the salt water, dude. I, I've always been close to it. Um, except for last summer, I lived in the Midwest. But I've always been close to the salt water, always. Even if it's like, you know, an hour away. It's still been, it's always been close. Close enough. Oh, all righty. All righty. All right, so let's go over, you know, if you didn't see the video, we'll go over what's in here. 
but make sure you go sign up for for this guys the link is in the description to sign up for this giveaway this isn't tonight's giveaway but we're picking the winner tonight so you still have the time <laughs> dude david that would be dope uh you know if if we do make the bus the final touch of the bus is going to be crazy the wrap whatever we end up doing the bus with is going to be cool um hopefully we can get a lot of people involved it'd be dope head to florida in two weeks yeah i mean you better fish your ass off down there homie all right so we got the slash 12 that dives 12 foot who would have thunk that's from Bunker Hunt, so we're doing that. We get the trilene, the 12 pound test line. We got the crawl worm. I mean, power bait, go to, like, it, I mean, it just works. It just works, right? KVD square belt, crank. I actually, with the Alex Rudd crankbait down in, in uh, Texas, I don't know if you guys saw that video or not, uh, my first day down there, uh, that Alex Rudd crankbait got me a couple good fish. And I'm not a crankbait guy. Uh, we got the Rudd Weiser sticker and the Grateful Dead Monster Bass sticker. That is like my favorite sticker of all time. I already, I have a couple of them already. One in the car and one up on the on the wall there some sort of save 10% deal there Portsmouth I love your videos <laughs> that's awesome Tyler yep we'll be out there um, I am going to be fishing with uh, the Kraken this year the wise Kraken boys so we will be out there we got the fluorocarbon line I can't wait I literally just uh, it's crazy because like you know, you go from being a bass fisherman, and I liked multi-species, but, like, I never really made it to the salt too often, uh, you know, being inland. Um, I did, a, like, a few striper trips, but then last year, coming down here to Rhode Island uh, and being able to, like, literally fish the salt all the time is insane. And then working on the boats, forget about it. My life has totally changed. My life has totally changed. All right, so that's what we got. That's that's what's going on on the the old giveaway. Tonight's giveaway, I still don't know. You guys let me know what we should do. Should we do, like, comment down below type of thing like we do for the other videos? Or should we do like we've been doing with the live videos and do a um, uh, trivia question? I'm down with whatever. I like, uh the, the giveaways are for you guys you know what i mean so as long as as long as we can make two people's day today block and newport tyler dude i would love that man hit me up on instagram um I, I always always welcome uh fishing with with new people you know i love that especially people around here um I think that one of the coolest things about fishing is that literally everyone you fish with you could probably learn something from even if they're new at fishing there's probably something they learned a different way than you and you can always learn something from somebody so got sad packing up the ice gear yeah but tyler the ice gear uh here in rhode island this year i mean it lasted longer than it ever has right like this was a pretty good ice season for rhode island i traveled north a lot uh, for the ice as well. Need me to come up with trivia? Ryan, you're good at that, bro. You're good at that. All right, let's see what we've got in here. I got a ton of stuff. Like I said, uh, in this box, there are some, like, bags of soft plastics that I probably used a couple out of. I was just literally, this was cleanup. This is, like, cleanup aisle five going crazy, and I just threw everything into this box. So we have uh, some four-inch Zakos. That's, I probably used one out of that pack. This was definitely used. I probably used a three out of this. These are the mermaids by Yamamoto. We got some saltwater uh, grubs. We got some more of the Zeko, or not the Zeko, the paddle tail swim bait there. That's a full pack. I didn't use any of those. Uh, the Ikas, I used a couple of these. 
Oh, uh, do you have a kayak ready? Oh, yeah, my kayak's always ready. Shit, let's go to Matthew 50. Matthew. I love throwing big baits. I caught I caught a couple really nice fish recently on uh, my buddy's big bait at night. I love throwing big baits at night, right after ice out. It's crazy. Um, wow, I'm so behind on the chat. <laughs> Uh, where are we here? It's so much easier when Tay is here because she can help me uh, with the chat. All right, so we got this spinnerbait that got the packaging got wrecked, but I, it's still in it. This is a an entire bag of mixed Sankos. This this bag alone is worth quite a bit because this is many bags of Sankos, and these are all Yamamoto's, all mixed into one. That's no joke. That's a that's good, but. We're out with the Yamamoto. See you later. See you later. I won't be using their stuff uh, anymore, but you guys can use it because it definitely works to catch fish. Um, Flappin' Hogs, this is one of my favorite creature baits out there on the market uh, until I started using those new freaking Guggen ones, which are actually insane. This Lunker Hunt, a pow, a Livingston Lipless. A pow, another lipless, a pow. Well, this is a ton of stuff. Uh, two of the monster bass bags that you guys can like keep keep your stuff in because you know I got a ton of them, um, and I don't really use the bags too much because I don't I try not to take a lot of tackle with me lately. I've been really trying to like dial it down to a small amount of stuff and focus on what I'm using. It's a little bit different than what I used to do. Uh, some hooks. Another square bill, KVD square bill. Uh, one hook. I don't even know how that snuck in. Uh, another pack of the power bait. One of these Stanley jigs. I got uh, just a random spinner bait. I don't even know the brand of this one. Cabin Creek Cross. Great on a Ned rig. These ones probably would too. But you could uh, shake your head that too. Uh, gambler fish. Yeah. The Bass Dynasty crazy weird looking worm thing. Um, Yozuri prop jet. There's a ton of stuff in here, guys. <laughs> Freaking ton. Uh, we got this deep diving crankbait. Another square bill. Jerk bait. A chatterbait. A, another deep diving crankbait. This wacky thing that would probably get hammered right now. It's like kind of like a underspin, but the underspin's in the back. Uh, backspin? I don't know what the hell you would call that. Whatever. Um, and then one more Yamamoto spinner bait. It's a ton of stuff, guys. A ton of stuff. So that is what. We're giving away today. And we'll figure out what we're doing with that later, I guess. I don't know. Maybe trivia, maybe maybe a comment down below type of thing. So if you're in and out of here, make sure you comment down below uh, on this video, not just in the chat. Just say something, just in case we do it by that. But uh, trivia is the most fun. And that's what we've been doing live. I, th I think it's fun. All right, guys. What else? I hooks up. I have all the hookups. I just have too much stuff. I just have too much stuff, and it all just gets like in a lot of stuff. Like I don't use, and it's just because I don't like to. Like I, I'm not a big. Uh, Becca throws jerk baits all the time. Do I need to be throwing a jerk bait? No, unless it's the only thing they're gonna hit. So it's just not something I even like pick up anymore. Um, it's just. No wonder. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, I mean, I just... Plus, I've been working with Monster Mass for so long. I get so many lures, and I get to try a ton of stuff, and it's just like... It's just too much shit. I got too much stuff. Why not give back to the wonderful people that, you know, help me out and watch my stupid videos all the time. Freaking love it. Um, let's see. I'm going to share this to Facebook, I think. I didn't share it anywhere. Nobody 
Nobody knows I didn't share this at all. So let's see. Facebook. Get people. See if see if anybody else is around. Who just said had the package that was sent from hookup tackle they messed up dude literally had oh damn matthew that's crazy that's a hell of a mess up you were pumped what's up mr tully yeah like lately it's just, like i really have been trying to trying to go simple and it's tough. It's tough, especially in the kayak, too, you know? And I'm not, like, some tournament angler. I'll never be a tournament angler. I do it because I fucking... I just love it. I want to have fun. That's why, we, that's why I fish. Um, so, that's just how it is. I was so hyped, but now I can't even throw them because they weigh so much. Too. Nobody can steal my Ohio State hat. I don't even know what that where that is. I let my hats just like roam around on the floor for a little bit and everything. I like my hats to be rugged. That Ohio State hat is dope. I've had that one for a while. My old Ohio State hat from when I was like a little kid all the way through high school. That was my lucky hat. I had that thing for so long. And it was like a originally like a white khaki color uh, with the Ohio State logo. And then by the time I was like a year out of high school it was like totally ripped to shreds and so many colors of different sweats i think i don't know i loved that fucking hat loved that hat puffer fishing what do you mean ryan puffer like the puffer like the the freaking like those fish because like that would be dope. Uh, on the the boat that I did um, out of Newport last year, we caught one puffer fish. So I would love, dude. That'd be sick. I didn't know you could actually like target those things. I didn't realize they were like there was like more than a couple up here. You can actually you can actually target them. That's sick, dude. I, I let's do it. I'm I'm a hundred percent down, Ryan. Hundred percent down. Yeah, wicked. Uh, you, I mean, when you're yak fishing, like some of these guys, their yaks are insane. They can bring like it's like a freaking little bass boat. But you know, like I don't, I don't have all the crazy gear. I'm, I keep things so simple on my yak. I even bought like this whole setup to have my um, my electronics and everything on the yak, and I don't ever use it because it's just this big bulky thing in the front of my yak, and I'm just like, eh. Uh, no, no, Lopez. Definitely not Rolling Rock. Um, I'm not an IPA guy, but the only... Taya works at a liquor store, so she'll bring home, like, shit that they're not... I think they fucked this up. I don't know. It's upside down. Team 914. My buddy over here, Team 914, uh, he was on that... We met on that boat in Newport. That's my dude right there. Kid slays. Young, young, young man that just slays. He kicked the crap out of his dad that day. <laughs> Killed him in New Jersey, Ryan. I, I, I would totally come down and and uh, and do that. Dogfish, I, I, Ryan. I'm not an IPA guy. I, I'll drink it if it's. I just wanted to. Literally, the only time I drink these days is when I do these live streams. So I just grabbed a beer, like. <laughs> they didn't we were out of like, like the stuff i usually have you need to try the mega bass halibut jerk baits it's saltwater jerk bait oh fluke and halibut dope yeah i'm excited for fluke season uh that's coming up real quick isn't it that's coming up real quick coming back in june uh dude i will not be working on the newport boat I'm going to be working out of Snug Harbor, 
marina uh, on a smaller, smaller uh, boat. Ask Sea Money. I'm sure he's fished fish here for them. Yeah, Sea Money. Um, sea Money and I actually talked two two days ago, two or three days ago. We're thinking about doing a challenge. Him and uh, him and Blowhard versus Becca and I bass fishing. Bass fishing. And Sea Money and Blowhard never. He like swears that he hates bass fishing. That would be fun. I think that would be a really fun video, mostly because of what will come out of uh, our buddy's mouth because he hates bass fishing so much. So just, like, hearing him complain about it would be so funny. Uh, Snug Harbor Marina. Uh, I'm going to be – it's the crack, Wise Kraken Charters. You can look that up. Wise Kraken Charters. Talk season starts in New York. Yeah, uh, talk season is going to start up here too. They have like a short spring season. Uh, it'd be really cool to get out on some tog. I know we're planning on hopefully sailing for them a couple times. Uh, I'd love to see some spring tog. I know some of the boys down in Maryland are already killing it. Some of my buddies that I uh, that I made last year out on the party boat, they're slaying big fish already. The, those guys, those tog fishermen, man, I, they're a different breed of human. They're crazy, and I love them. Ryan, please uh, get out there and do it. Save a buddy's life. S speaking of lives that were saved, I just got off the phone with my best friend Keith. We talked for quite some time. Um, I love him to death. Uh, he got me good today uh, while we were talking on the phone. If you guys don't know the whole backstory, with the, if you had seen any of the Texas videos, all of them were dedicated to Keith. He got into a major car accident. Uh, the day before I left for Texas, I didn't find out until I got to my layover, uh, the morning I left cause the accident had, like his mom didn't even get all the information until like one o'clock that morning. So, you know, anyways, uh, he's doing great and we we're shooting the breeze and he dropped the phone and, um, he just had his leg, one of his legs got removed. And the other one's still pretty mangled and a lot of pins and stuff in it. And he freaking dropped the phone with me on it. And I fell down onto the ground, you know, like being a phone. And he tried to get the phone because he's an idiot and he didn't call for help. He tried to get it himself and fell in between his bed and the fucking window. And I'm listening to him. And then they, like, come rushing in to help him. And I'm still on the floor, like, what the fuck is going on? And he, it was, uh... It was good. It was one of those moments. Especially if you know Keith, you would laugh really hard. Because you could just picture his stupid ass fucking do I could picture me doing the same thing, though. That's the thing, is Keith and I are very similar in that way. Striper season started in New York. Oh, yeah, dude. I can't wait to catch some stripers. Uh, the Black Demon by Jigging World Matthew is a really sick rod, by the way. I just saw that you were talking about that. Go sub to my YouTube channel, a small channel trying to grow. Upstate Fishing. Uh, nope, that's not how we do things. How? Do, what is going on here? That is going to... We're going to go ahead and put you right in timeout. Did it do it? And then we're going to go ahead and remove that. Yeah. So yeah, we don't we don't do the the old sub for sub here. I I mean I haven't had to ever really deal with that, but you know, everybody here should support everybody here. Uh, but just like shoot the shit in the chat. You don't have to come out and be like, come sub to me. That's that's definitely not how we do things here. How we do things here, boys and girls. I'll put you in timeout. Dude, a 58-pound striper is insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, 914, it is Wise Kraken Charters. Wise Kraken. Oh, my God, there. Plugs dope. <laughs> Luke Goblin, I agree. I agree. 
I agree. Like, it, you know, it's funny because, like, when you first get into YouTube, like, say you just started your channel today, you don't know any better. It's, it's sometimes you, you go out and you're like, oh, I'll sub to your channel if you sub to mine. You know, help me out. You keep fucking trying to get, like, 25 subs or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> you don't. You don't get the fact that if you just literally just make the videos, people will subscribe. You also need to mention in a lot of your videos to subscribe. I noticed that. Um, I used to never say, please subscribe to my channel uh, on my videos because I figured most people just knew to fucking do it. But apparently uh, they don't because when I started saying, you know, hey – if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and just quickly, briefly, at some point in the video, go over that. I noticed uh, more people did subscribe. Um, but yeah, the sub for sub stuff is like, pfft, see you later. Not happening here. Uh, mystery fish was. What mystery fish? Oh, that crazy thing? I don't know. Uh, like, most people think it was a shad of some sort, that mystery fish. I don't know. I, it's still, like, for all the pictures that were put up, it does look like a gizzard chat, but it also doesn't. Like, there's, it's, it was very, that fish was weird. I'll still always kind of feel awkward about that and wish that I just kept it. Because then there would be a definite answer and not, like, a guess. What is this fish? Uh, live in Texas, Lopez? Yes, I would consider it. I want to live everywhere. Um, that's why I want to build out a school bus into a home, because then I can go wherever the hell I want, whenever the hell I want. Like, if it's, you know, people want to film down south, I can go down south and film. If I want to go up to freaking ice fish up in Canada, I can take the bus out on the ice. You know what I mean? Like, it, there's just the possibilities will be endless and we'll be able to go do like awesome trips all over the place uh yes becca caught a larger carp than me mine was 22 pounds becca becca got the first carp of the day and the her second carp ever and it was 30 fucking pounds today guys 30 pounds yeah yeah 30 pounder Um, so, to catch carp, I use my buddy Fred. <laughs> um, if you don't have a buddy Fred, then you, uh, it's tough. It's, it's, it's different. Um, and so, like, Fred's just a, a avid carp fisherman. That's, like, what he does. He does other fishing, too, but he focuses mainly on carp. So, he has all the gear. He has, like, the alarms and the right rods and the right line and he's got like he's got this the like the line goes to this like crazy looking weight that has all these like bumps on it and then he takes his pack bait and he packs it on that weight that like looks all lumpy and shit so it holds that pack bait really good what's up jerry um and then from there it goes to the hair rig Ooh, excuse me a hair rig that has this crazy smelling thing called a pop-up and he uses trap out baits uh they like sponsor him great great company and so he takes the the little hair rig and he puts it in the pack bait so when it hits and goes to the bottom the pack bait dissolves and you know the carp come in because they can smell it and they can eat it but then they smell and see and eat the um, pop-up because it is way more potent than the pack bait and so they kind of key in on that and the thing is, is as soon as they even like test it out the way the hair rig is set up as soon as they even test it they get pinned it's like unreal like you you're not supposed to set the hook because of the way he has it set up like you literally just uh, once they're screaming off, cause he's got the alarms on, so the drag's totally open. So once they start screaming off, you just go up, you tighten up the drag and you just start to reel. 
Um, and it's, it's crazy. I mean, reeling in a 20 pound fish out of a river is crazy. It was unbelievable. Today was unbelievable. We, we got, Becca got a 30 pounder and a 21 pounder. I caught a 22 pounder. Fred caught a 25 pounder. Um, and then I got like a 14 and Fred got a 17. So in the, the whole day overall, we caught well over a hundred pounds of, of fish today. It's kind of like a, yeah, it's kind of like a circle hook hook set. Kind of like a circle hook. You you literally just kind of like lean right into it, especially because he has like freaking 12 foot rods. They're like massive. 50 to 60 pound carp near you. Who the, where, oh, I just lost myself. Matthew, uh, that's crazy. Where, where are you, Matthew? Uh, the Okuma bait feeding reels would probably actually work really well, Jerry. Um, really well. But, like, in a bigger size. Like, the the ones that Fred uses, because, like, some of those big fish, sometimes they go on pretty long runs. And so he's he's got them things spooled up with, like, more line than I spool up my freaking saltwater rod with. Kenneth, uh, have a great night, brother. Have a great night. Uh, guys, I mean, we have more, we definitely have more people than we had in here earlier when we went over what the hell's going on with the giveaways. Um, oh, we have two giveaways. One is the old giveaway that we haven't announced the winner for. That is uh, the link for that is in the description. Just go over there, comment on the video. I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do to enter. Just make sure you're subscribed. Obviously, I mean that's pretty fucking obvious. And that's for this stuff everything in this bag we're gonna do that in a few minutes and then we also have this entire box of lures that we're gonna give away tonight and i think we're gonna we're gonna either do trivia or some other way and we're gonna give it away live like on the spot boom like uh you know i don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we might wait for taya to get home to do that she's supposed to be home soon she was supposed to get out of work at nine um it's nine twelve. So she's fired. Also, I'm hungry. I want some dinner. So, you know, I actually probably should have cooked, but I didn't edit a video today because I got home uh, and passed out after carp fishing all morning. <laughs> so no excuses. No excuses. But that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just going to – I was like about to wake up, and I was like I should probably – continue to get a little bit of rest because i've been grinding like crazy um and so yeah i just stayed in bed and, and got some rest decided to come go live tonight since i have all this shit to give away who's got pizza south jersey That's dope. Uh, Matthew, I'm, I'm definitely, I need to get down to uh, South Jersey again uh, very soon. Um, I definitely want to go fish with my buddy Jimmy down there uh, for snakeheads. So if, if I come down, I'll hit you up. It's been gone for about a week. Jerry, you're fishing not ice? That's crazy. I, can, I don't even know if I can picture you with, like, a normal rod and reel. Because you work so damn hard all summer and you never fish until the ice. Yeah, you definitely have snakehead. Bro, that's one of the best tasting fish I've ever had. I can't believe how good they taste coming out of such nasty shit. Uh, so 914, are you using a swim bait hook on with no weight? Um, cause that's like one of my favorite ways to use a Kai tech this time of year is weightless. 
uh, on just a, a swim bait hook, weightless. Uh, Jerry, that would be dope. I really want to get a musky so bad. Weightless, yeah, the screw hook, yep. Yeah, that's the way to do it this time of year, man. Uh, my buddies, I was telling that to Becca. I'm like, man, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't thrown like a weightless uh, paddle tail swim bait at this, like this time of year. Kills it. Usually it's like, it goes for me like after ice out, it's like um, chatter bait, jerk bait suspending for a little bit. And then as the water starts to heat up, I'll get into like... Um, you know, stuff like that, or Wacky Rig Sanko, and, uh, and it slays, and then you have to start putting the weight on it, you know, later in the year, start ripping them, oh my goodness, five pounder, on the Ghost Gill Clutch, that's great, dude. Those Guggen baits are going to be bringing in some big fish this year. I'll tell you that. I mean, I already caught some big fish on it. That, that my last day in Texas was out of control. Um, I looked back on it and I'm like, so I caught one that was almost five pounds, or probably five pounds, maybe even a little over five pounds. I caught one that was close to four pounds, maybe a little bit over four pounds, and I caught three at least that were over three maybe three and a quarter three to three and a half pounds um that bag from the bank is over 20 pounds that's crazy or 20 pounds right on the dot from the bank that was a crazy day on a freaking on that stupid trench hog uh 50 pound a 15 pound musky yeah i could i would love one of those the mother load box is really good. Uh, I was surprised at how good that thing was. I got a couple of them. Finesse is great. Uh, I went away from finesse. Last year I started to dive back into it a little bit. Um, this year I really, I don't even know. Like there's so much I want to do all the time. You know, like finesse catches more fish, definitely. But I love throwing big baits. But you throw big baits you don't catch as many fish your video is going to be more of you just like talking than you catching any fish half the time you know but then if you do hook up to a fish when you're throwing big baits you can get a freaking goliath and it pays off big time so i don't know it's just there's so many things i want to do all the time so many things i want to throw it's bad uh this year i think creature baits are going to be a big thing for me um i'm going to really dial in on my on my creature bait fishing what is this what i got a couple but i just got the monster bass mystery box monster bass mystery box what's that like on the monster bass website they have that i haven't even seen that nobody told me about a mystery box oh the link is missing the h god Damn it, Roger. How did that happen? I copied and pasted. That's so weird. What an idiot. What an idiot I am. Should be good now. Yep. What a dumbass. Yeah, guys, so go enter the other giveaway. I remember using Ned Rig. Oh, Ned Rigs are dope. Yeah, Ned Rig's dope. Uh, I like the Nico Rig, the Ned Rig. Uh, I got to start using a shaky head more often. Hookup Tackle Mystery Box. I don't know what that is, Matthew. I don't even know what that, what that is. Send me the link for this uh, thing you speak of, because I don't know what it is. 
Where the heck is Taya? I'm hungry. I told her I would wait for her to have dinner. And now it's already 9.30 almost now. Dude, I got the bandito bug fever, but the bandito bug didn't even do it for me. It was the trench hog that did it for me. I caught a few on the bandito. Oh, there she is, folks. There she is. Wait, what? Oh, yep, it's turning. It's turning. Duke's barking. And she's here. Hi. Hi. Tay is home. Tyler, peace, brother. Yeah. What video is the giveaway on? It's right here. I'll put it in the chat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, call me if you need me. I'm going to be here. And I'm off the right there, day, homie. So Go ahead and uh, enter that. That's this one. That's this stuff. Here. Well, we should actually do that pretty soon. Haha, <laughs> giveaways. Okay. And then, I don't know. What do you guys like, think? Honestly, so I mean, we got 18 people in here. We got a whole box of lures. Should we do a fishing grubs trivia? I know Ryan would want us to. Uh, he's off in an ambulance trying to save somebody's life right now. What's for dinner? We have some like, okay, so guys, not sponsored, not sponsored at all. Uh, but a few weeks ago, we got one of those like cards uh, from HelloFresh being like 13 free meals or whatever. And we like just did it just to like see what it was all about because like we're always busy and you know, it's, you know, a couple, couple dinners, a, you know, a week or whatever. So we actually signed up for it, uh, for a few weeks and it's freaking awesome. It's actually really good. We have not had a dinner that we did not like, which is crazy. Um, the portions sometimes could be a touch bigger, a touch. Most of them are okay. Sometimes they're like just you want a little bit more food, but that's probably the best. That's probably the only thing I would I would say. Uh, and so we have some the, the last meal from them. I think we have some sort of um, I don't even remember what we had. Oh, some meatballs, some crazy meatball dish. Looked really good. Hi, sweetie. What's up, babe? Hi, you want to come say hi to everybody? Yeah. Hello. Hey, just got home from work. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that the HelloFresh has been really <laughs> freaking good. HelloFresh needs to sponsor us. Yeah, come sponsor us, HelloFresh. Sponsor me. I mean, I would take free meals all the time. That was, I mean, could you imagine if, like, anybody's going to sponsor you, if you have all of your food taken care of? <laughs> Damn. That's like, that's a ton of money right there. We, that's like something you spend a lot of money on every week is your food. I have a great fly run. Oh, so you're going fly fishing for the muskies? What's up, Scott? Uh, Scott says hi, Taya. Hi. What's up, Gavin? Guys, should we give this away now? Now that Tay is home, we'll do the first one pretty soon. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Let me release it one day out of the month. Huh? That's crazy, Matthew. I've never, I've never heard of that. You got, I got to figure out like, cause that's crazy. And really cool. A really good idea. I had an idea a while back about doing like a big swim bait box. Getting together with all like the guys that do big swim baits and having it be like a hundred and something bucks a month. And you get one bait. But you also, and it's like a one out of whatever, you know, for that. Because obviously all these big bait makers do some seriously cool shit. And then like you get like a t-shirt or something. I think that would be huge. Are you yelling at me? I just got a message from someone on Instagram, and it's like, so, so, what's and up, so, musician dude? What's well, up? So and so wants to send you a message, and I'm like, okay, who is this? 
and it's hello fellow angler i found you through some fishing hashtags oh, it's, it's some spam fishing spam. i know but it's like my right gotta love account. that there's now fishing spam like it used to just be like like chicks in bathing suits being like hey and and you're like yep block you're not real and now it's actual like hey some weird fishing thing <laughs> Stupid. I hate that bullshit. Uh, <laughs> oh. Team 914 got the same message like 15 minutes oh, yeah? ago. <laughs> from Ashley? Yeah, maybe it was from Ashley too. Yep. Um, I mean, I could have some whiskey tonight. I just grabbed this because it was quick. I'd love a whiskey. It's chilly out. It's 39 out. It was chilly today for most of the morning. When we when Becca got the 30-pounder, it was still in the high 30s this morning. I remember my first 30-pounder. What's up, Gene? First time. Welcome. Welcome. We, uh, we're doing a giveaway. The only crappy thing, Gene, uh, is that we might be doing that giveaway um, uh, with via trivia but we are doing this one not via trivia so you can go sign up for this if you want um the link is in the description and it's also right here in the chat we'll put it right up there one more time I love my beautiful baby. maybe wait another 10 minutes we've been live for about an hour after that and then we'll give this away and then we'll give the giant box of crap away after uh guy who wants to let's let james james uh, which whiskey should I have? Hudson Whiskey New York or Sazerac Rye? This is shoesgrubswhiskey.com. Code Becca. Code Becca. Code Becca for 20% off. I have crazy stuff to talk to you about. Really? Yeah. Are you pregnant? I am pregnant. Is it mine? I don't think it's yours. Oh, Todd. <laughs> Why do you even have the time? Uh, so we got a vote for Hudson and a vote for Sazerac. <laughs> well, I think one of us should finish the Sazerac, and the other one should have the Hudson. <laughs> Our pickle YouTuber has a shit ton of those spamming weird profiles saying they love him or do other shit. <laughs> the dude is married. Yeah. Well, for a little while there, there was like... I don't know, it was like a four or five month period where I was getting like all these heart comments from all these like foreign accounts. You could tell they were like, you know, their name wasn't even like, like English letters. And it was just like, oh God, what is this? Weird shit. The color of the rye. Come on guys. James was supposed to, oh, James is gonna go, he said the rye. All right, so we'll go with Sazerac. James picked the Sazerac asked him he was the one that was asking about the whiskey i've caught fish using spam before yeah that'd be fun to do that'd be fun to do in hawaii i really really want to go back to hawaii soon i've never been to hawaii yeah i really want to go back because they have so many fish that i fish for now freshwater which is crazy never mind the Cool oh, stuff we could do in the ocean. Class. I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. <gasps> oh, Taya's gonna change the lighting for us. She Earthquake not, test. <laughs> you, are, you did not put that back well. <laughs> Hold on. Time out, folks. This is a Taya takeover. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, it's all ghetto rigged, anyways. She, that's why she knocked it over, because I ghetto rigged things. I bought the stupid tripod from walmart and they break in like 35 seconds that's what happens when you buy cheap shit oh says a rack says a rack says a rack i'm over snow Who, where's it snowing who said that it's snowing oh jesus jerry uh so jerry's up uh right underneath winnipesaukee so I can definitely see that. Gavin's from New Hampshire as well. Japan is nuts. They fucking have GTs. They have GTs in the rivers? I didn't know that. Dude, I want to go to Japan so bad. There's so many places I want to go. Japan. 
uh, is huge on the list. Um, and so is the Amazon. I think they're probably the top two for me. I really want to do some like cool carp and pike fishing in Europe. There's just so many places I want to go. Never mind. The U.S. alone has a million places. I'm right near Luke Goblin. You're in Barnstead. You are. You and Jerry should be fishing together because uh, that's where Jerry is. <laughs> Yep, Wicked's up in Conway. My man. I will definitely look that up, Matthew. That's crazy. River GTs, that just sounds... I mean, GT alone sounds incredible. She's been super lovey. I'm, I'm really hungry, are you? Mm -hmm. um, Alright, I'm going to do this giveaway. Let's give this away, guys. We'll go over it real quick. Again, the link is in the description. Let's quickly go over what we're giving away. We're giving away one of these craw worms. We're giving away some power bait craws. The 12-foot diving jerk bait. The coolest sticker in the world. Some fluoro. Some... Uh, Mono, I believe that is. Trilene. Some other shit. Gambler. Squarebill. And the dopest uh, Rudweiser sticker ever made. Also the only Rudweiser sticker ever made. Alex Rudd is a goddamn beast, guys. I don't know if you guys watch Rudd at all, but he is the reason why I joined monster bass in the first place back in the day uh because alex rudd has always been an inspiration to me in ways uh in a lot of ways because he doesn't care he does things his own way and he is extremely knowledgeable he's like one of the most knowledgeable guys out there uh, when it comes to the youtube fishermen and uh it blows my mind that he doesn't get millions of views Millions. Billions. Billions. Oh, uh, the Deadhead sticker is my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite Monster Bass. They have the T-shirt. You guys can go on the Monster Bass website. Um, they have the T-shirt, the uh, hoodie, and the sticker uh, of that Grateful Dead uh, sign. I was actually just talking to my buddy about that uh, today and telling him how cool... Um, it was that the the owner is uh, from New England. He lives. Sorry, I'm watching. Come on now, <laughs> come on now. He he's uh, he's from New England, but he lives in California. Um, but he used to like tour around with the Dead way way back in the day, which makes a uh, dude like me really jealous because I got into that kind of music after Jerry had died, pretty much. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> She's just trying to say hi. Knocks, oh knocking over my lighting. <laughs> <laughs> she's She's been super lovey today. She was just trying to rub against the leg. No, she's being super lovey today. Knox gets into, like, these weird moves, moods. She's not a, like most cats that I've owned. Most of the cats I've owned constantly want affection all the time and just want to be pet. Um... Whereas, like, Knox, like, picks and chooses her times like, very no. wisely. And she will not show me any affection. Or, if she does, it's very little when Tay is home. If Tay is not home, she's, like, <laughs> all up in my shit. She's loyal. It's my girl. Peacocks in Puerto Rico would be dope. I just can't, I'd, like, I... You know, my dream is to be able to just run around and, and fish all over the freaking world and entertain you crazy folk. Kind of you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're uh, we're like uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, you know. We're just chugging along. For children. Ain't nobody going to stop me. Made for kids. You like that move? Mm. That's called the train. <laughs> no. 
You went out. <gasps> Liar, dude. Yeah, Duke. Did you feed him? No. Yeah, oh. he, he might want something to eat. He's probably hungry like I am. We waited for okay. you. Taya, made for kids. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she's crazy. All right. Oh yeah. So let's give that away. We got the we got the shit. If you guys you have ten seconds to go and comment, is that for you? Yeah. You have ten seconds to go and comment on that damn video. Here, let's put it in the here one more time. You go comment in the video. You will be entered into it. And. I will copy it. You want me to do an unboxing? Uh, don't yell at me. And we're going to get this ready. We're going to paste it. And we're going to... So, we're here. We're set up. I got the URL pasted up there. Then we're going to get the comments here. Boom. 41 comments. Start now. One. Two. Oh, I just saw somebody commented. Let's comment again. Or get the comments again. All right. All right. All right. Should we get ready? One. Two. Three. Who cares? Let's do this. And I actually just saw him in our chat. Uh, here, so who cares? One. I think that's actually excellent. Uh, I love your name. Hell yeah, he says. Who cares? That's great. That's like the best... That's like the best name ever. <laughs> well, my buddy Pussy Fart's got a really good name, too. <laughs> so congrats to who cares. You won... Um, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or something that is not YouTube because I don't want your address to be just on YouTube. Uh, but get me your address, and Taya will mail it because uh, she's the greatest human being ever. I am. Some, so if anyone needs any frogs, I'm gonna go to the post office this week. So oh yeah. Speak so now. If, if you do want, if you do want any frogs, we still have a good amount of them. Uh, Five bucks each or five for, f or I'm sorry, 10 bucks each or five for 40 of these crazy frogs. And we're going to be starting to use them soon. Um, so get ready for some of the frog. When is the other, the other giveaway is like soon, like within minutes. I mean, I'm hungry. So Taya, Taya won't start cooking and I won't even help her start cooking until we stop the live stream because it's just going to be like super noisy in the background. Um, so, so we'll do, we'll do the other giveaway in a couple minutes. Although we do have a cat that's trying to steal the dog's food right now in the closet. She gets into the closet cause we're in this like apartment where the doors don't like to close, so close all the way or be able to like actually close to a point where a cat can't open it and uh she gets in the closet every day and eats duke's food while he's eating his food in the other room and she's in there sneaking because <laughs> she's a genius it's kind of ridiculous kind of ridiculous yeah. oh you want to see them nick well duke's duke has the hiccups. duke's got the hicks up he just came back into the room Knox left because duke came back in and she was eating his food so Duke's there, and this is where his food is, right there, and Knox lets herself in because you can see here this thing doesn't close all the way, ever. And so all I have to do is this, so all she has to do is claw down at the bottom, and, uh, and she's in, like Flynn. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Duke's Duke is almost eleven years old. 
Who meant the frog lures? I don't have insert Facebook due to my jobs contract. Anyway, I could go. Uh, uh, just email me. Um, my email is Todd, T-O-D-D. -D. Here, I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat. Who cares? <laughs> Uh, email me your address. Oh, oh, this is James. So James, James says his cat will chew through the food bag. So Knox, so Knox won't chew through the food bag of Duke's food. But if you leave Cheetos that you've opened and she gets the smell of the cheetos like blood in the so water so we have cheetos <laughs> in the house right now and they're in a glass jar because she will literally chew through the bag but she'll chew through her food bag too her own food bag like rather than eating food in a bowl next to a bag she'll chew through the bag so the her food's kept in a in glass jars <laughs> Isn't it's, she the most precious? And James says, of course. Look at her, Look at her face. <laughs> she wants to be put down so bad. She hates being picked up. I love you. Most cats don't like it. She hates it. Um, I, the thing is, is like I had cats growing up, but I also went to school for massage therapy, and I used my cats as guinea pigs. So I'm pretty sure my cats were not like normal cats, but I want all cats to be like my cats were when I was growing all up. All cats are different. <laughs> yeah. Don't chew anything. Cats are... Yeah, they're insane. And my dog... My dog's worse, though, because he, he, when he destroys things, he likes to pick things that are, like, expensive. So, like, he'll, he'll dig in the bed and just rip a hole through the sheets. And you're like, bro, that was... A, those are the, sh the fucking sheets, bro. Like we, yeah. we need those sheets. He's uh, three sets of sheets. When and he two was a comforters. puppy, when he was a puppy, I think he was probably nine months old. I had just moved back from Hawaii. Duke is from Hawaii, by the way. He is a Hawaiian pit bull, uh, or Hawaiian American Staffordshire Terrier, if you will. And um, when we moved back from Hawaii, I went to work one day and I left my camera which wasn't that nice of a camera it wasn't like one with an interchangeable lens but it was still like a nice camera it was the nicest camera i had ever owned at the time and he ate it you ate it didn't you you little shit the whole camera he chewed it to shreds and it was like a really nice digital camera for back then you know this was a long time ago long time ago Ten years ago, you know. But <laughs> did, the, did you read that? What Luke Goslin said? No. He, he said I had a cat that would lick the faces off people in photos. It was super weird before that's... we found out it was the cat. Oh my god, that's so creepy. It's like a ghost story. Yes. If you never found out about the cat. Love that. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's beautiful. Ooh, somebody's dentures got chewed up by their dog. <laughs> Brendan's as uh James dad lost his work boots to the pup. Dude, dog puppies are especially when they're teething, it's like you can't even be fucking mad at them. You're like, you suck. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, a pencil. That's not good. That's lead. That's lead. Seriously, it was creepy. Dude, I bet that was so creepy. <laughs> Can you imagine? All of a sudden, all the photos you have, the faces just start to disappear. Yeah, that's super Dun, 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 dun. Duke, stop everything. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, I mean, we got 21 people in here. Guys, how do you guys want to give this stuff away? This box is full of shit. This box is insane. This is going to cost us $10 to ship it so heavy. 
I don't know if it will, but I'm, I'm just, I'm literally joking. No one takes a cake. I'm going to have nightmares about faceless photos tonight. It's, it is super creepy, but wicked funny. All right, let's go over what's in here again. Guys, please tell me how, how should we give this away tonight? Should you comment on this video to give it away? Should you, should we do like, um, a trivia like we've been doing? Uh, who cares said just sent it all to me um so we get the bass dynasty crazy it's got like a paddle tail it's like a worm with a paddle tail on both sides it's crazy cool looking i actually wanted to use that wacky rig but i never did uh the gambler lure we have a lipless we have some icas we have some grubs we have some mermaids we have some swim baits zaco style paddle tail style we have flapping hogs we have another lipless we have a spinner bait a hook a hook uh, a deep diving crankbait this has got to be i would say at least 40 40 dollars worth of sankos these are all yamamoto sankos and there is so many in here i don't know how many packs of sankos i even put together in there um the cabin creek uh craw deal we got some more craw deal we got some more power bait craw deal we have a lipless uh, i'm sorry a square bill and a lipless i got ahead of myself we got this little underspin that's a not an underspin it's a backspin or whatever the hell you want to make up a name for that yourself i don't care you got a, a, another yamamoto spinner bait that's falling a chatter bait some more hooks a jig another hook another spinner bait a uh another crankbait a jerk bait another crankbait and i'm dropping shit on the ground because there's so much stuff and then this prop bait by yozuri i kind of wanted to keep that one but i just said fuck it i have so much just there's just too much stuff so we're giving all of that away right right now i didn't see this earlier that's insane <laughs> i know like there wasn't many people in uh, here that i think there was like 13 people in the first time i showed it but that's what we're giving away tonight it's uh, a fuck ton of stuff how do we give it away guys what do you want to do you guys want to do trivia do you guys want to just do like a random thing uh like pick a number one to a hundred and i'll tell tell Taya what it is and you guys can like just start spewing it off and the first first number uh the first person that gets the number wins so it's like fair to the people that are new to the channel you know we could do something like that <laughs> what's up mark <laughs> yeah you know like i feel like that the one to a hundred thing could be fair more fair to like people that are new um i love the trivia stuff um but this is a lot of you know the trivia no it's not fishing trivia it's fishing grubs trivia who cares it's like tri trivia for people that have been around the block with us here on this channel um and that's like what we've been doing on our live streams is like we'll do an old school tr question like what happened way back in the fucking day with this channel because uh, i mean we've been doing this for almost four years now or um you know something that's happened recently with those that's what we've been doing with trivia and we've been going kind of back and forth with that um we've never done the number thing but today i just we're giving away so much stuff in this this is the first time I, like, came into the live stream knowing that I was going to give away a bunch of stuff. Uh, so, I don't know. It's up to you guys, you know. Trivia or the numbers. What do you think, Taya? Taya's not even here. She, like, usually is live in the chat. She's over here talking with somebody else. Some She's talking about some other guy. She's cheating on me. Oh Steven. <laughs> told you about steven i'll take james goes i'll take bourbon history for one oh. that, listen james look listen james i'll give you i'm here hold on hold on hold on hold on
James, first of all, you have to promise, because I was going to sell this thing. It's missing the lip, and this is a over a hundred dollar bait. But this question is just for you, James, because you're a fucking you're a diehard on the channel here. I don't use this, so I'd love to see it go to use. It is a big swim bait. It is something that is hard to get a lot of the times, and the lips even for this bait is hard to get, which is why I don't have a new lip for it. Uh, this is the Clash nine inch swim bait okay james okay so this is bourbon history for you james if you look this up i'm gonna kill you you have to be freaking honest with me if you don't know it just say it do not look it up what is the oldest distillery in america If 30 seconds. Don't look it up. I know you, James. James. I know you. Da, na, 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 na. The oldest distillery in America. Hundred and something dollar lure right here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been there. Well, let's... I'm going to give you a quick hint. It was on a TV show where a guy goes, Yee! Thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> My allergies are going crazy. <laughs> oh, you can't think of it. It's been more longer than 30 seconds. It's been I don't know. I'm going to give him more time. Do you know? Do you know what it is? The oldest distillery in America? Yeah. Or oldest, oldest bourbon distillery? The oldest distillery in America is a bourbon distillery. It's a bourbon It's a bourbon trivia question. I have an idea. But well, I'm it's, not your, it's, it's also your favorite. <laughs> so That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you should know that. <laughs> so it is Buffalo Trace. Um, Buffalo Trace Distillery uh has been around longer than any other distillery in America. Um, they make the most sought after bourbon on the market, which is Pappy Van Winkle. Um, but and it's Lampers. funny because I, I, I kind of figured you'd been there. It's on the bourbon tour. Um, and so it's funny because they did an episode of um, what's that? What's that show? I was just talking about with that guy, with the turtle turtle man there. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja No, Turtles. no, it's called The Turtle Man. Uh, he was on the Discovery Channel. He That crazy-ass motherfucker. He was know. nuts. Anyways, he he had to go there because... Yeah, live action, yeah. <laughs> so 914 knows what I'm talking Don't about. Don't encourage him. So he, he went there because there was, like, a possum problem. And, um, and that's where I got that fun fact. And then, like, obviously... I mean that was that was before I even really got, really got into bourbon. Yeah, the Turtle Man. He went to Buffalo Trace Distillery, uh, which is the oldest distillery in America. There's not a lot of um, separate uh, bourbon companies at this point, or whiskey companies at this point. A lot of them, like if you look at the uh, bourbon per, uh, tree, yeah, there's only like two roots. Yeah, and Buffalo Trace is one of them. Also, interesting fact, Blanton's, which is part of the Buffalo Tree family, yep. was the only, or one of the only distilleries that was allowed to stay open during Prohibition, um, and that's, um, if you ever have their single barrel from Warehouse H, that was once reserved for diplomats and um, VIPs only. I picked a bottle of Blanton's straight from the... <gasps> that's really cool, James. I, that's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I would love to go. All right, guys. So what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we doing one through 100? Are we doing numbers one through 100? I think that's the most fair. I think trivia is more fun for me and uh, for, like, the fans of the channel. But, like, we have 26 people in here, and I definitely see names I've never seen in here. Duke is crying and staring at Knox. What do you want, Knox? Or, <laughs> I meant Duke. Duke. <laughs> 
Uh, what's up? What, what, okay, what? That was my favorite show. <laughs> Dude, that show is so good. That's the thing is, like, that guy, like, that's, like, me just not a, I'm just not, like, a, re like, redneck. I'm not, like, a southern person. But, like, if I see a turtle, I'm going to try and get it. I do. 914 wants the trivia because he's been around the block. He's been he's been hanging out with us for a while. <laughs> You've never had a see bourbon's a thing. Like, here's the thing: if we want to dive down the alcohol uh, like tunnel that I could go down for days because. The food and beverage industry has been my life for so long. Hey! But it's not that the food and beverage industry has been my life for so long. It's that, like, like in a bad way, like, I'm super passionate about it. And I love it. And I, like, like food and wine and, and beverage is, like, one of my other passions besides fishing. So, like, you know, like, it, it's huge to me. It's huge. Um... Um, uh, what was I, what was I getting at? I don't even know what I'm getting at. Oh, bur so like bourbon, here's the thing is like m what most people don't know. Like if you take a shot of vodka, right? And a shot of bourbon, which one's going to be smoother? The shot of vodka? Or the shot of bourbon. I'll tell you which one's going to have more flavor. More flavor is going to come from the bourbon, right? Which one's going to be smoother, the vodka or the bourbon? Bourbon. Well, let's, let's think about it, right? Like, So, like, vodka is any neutral grain spirit that's been distilled. Bourbon has a lot of kind of extra shit with it, but it is a whiskey. And a whiskey is any neutral grain spirit that's been distilled and then aged for three plus years. When you age something, what happens to it? Well, it gets softer. It gets smoother. So the vodka that tastes like fucking nothing burns like shit and sucks. The bourbon is going to be super smooth, uh, especially if it's done right. And it'd be a lot easier to drink. So that's that's another fun fun fact about about whiskey. I love whiskey. Whiskey was my first like love when it came to uh, spirits because it had so much going on. And it's crazy because I was 21 when I got into uh, whiskey. Uh, most people like at that age they're like drinking shit and i was already with no money trying to drink things that were expensive because <laughs> you worked in restaurants just the person i am yeah and i worked in restaurants um but like i i mean I, you even before i was like really in it i like i still wanted the good stuff i was one of the good stuff Fishing and booze. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> bourbon is smooth. Uh, so bourbon's also, when it, when you, like, take the whiskey spectrum, right, and you, like, put it out and try and, like, draw a straight line, if you will, I would say whiskey is at the sweeter end of bourbon. the spectrum. Be, uh, I'm sorry. A bourbon is at the sweeter end of the spectrum because it's made from corn, mostly. Um, so it has a sweetness to it, whereas, like, as you go towards like the scotch which is made from barley um that they pee so it gets the freaking smoke and the the barley and the rye and you know so like scotch scotch is one end of the spectrum bourbon's the other end of the spectrum of whiskey and there's so much in between uh you know rye being probably the main thing in between anyways so you're gonna tell me a number i'm gonna tell you a number i think we should do the number thing i think we should make it fair don't do it one to 100 it's too big yeah one to 100 no big. we only have 26 50. no it's gonna be 21 1 to 25 there's 25 people in here right now let's one do one we're gonna pick a number 
1 to 25, since there's 25 people watching. So let's just make it freaking easy. <laughs> Who needs fishing with the grubs when you can have drinking with the grubs? Yeah, seriously. Bye, my love. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Taya has a book called uh, uh, Drink Like a Bartender. She is actually... Um, she is actually an author and has been published twice now. But this is what? drink twice. It's been published twice, right? Like in a book form. Oh, and like my recipes, yeah. Yeah, twice, twice published book form. I've got. She's like been a... published a ton of times when it comes to like articles and stuff. Poetry. That's uh, that's what she's. We're actually both working towards not making a living, uh, like normal <laughs> <Ever>. people. <laughs> That's kind of, or ever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is Drink Like a bar, Bartender. Uh, this is Taya's published book. What, what year was this published in? 2017. This was 2017 got published. Available on Amazon, super cool. Barnes & Noble, Target. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can get this. And uh, on all the places she just said. But, yeah, super cool, super cool stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's pick a number, guys. I'm going to tell Taya the number, all right? Once I tell Taya the number, I'll let you guys know. You guys can start guessing the number in the first person. Let's let's say there's 25, 25 people in here, right? So you get one fucking guess, okay? Don't just start spewing out numbers, okay? If I see that you've guessed, no, we're going to do 1 to 25. There's 25 people in here, 914. So... Once you've guessed your number, you're done. Don't guess twice. Guess your number and be be done with it. The first person to guess the number, 1 to 25, will win. Uh, and I'm going to pick the number right now. I'm going to give it to Taya. Um, Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> James, nailed it. Did they, did you guys hear that? Did you hear me? James got it right away. He got it immediately. I looked up, it was already there. Did you hear it? I mean, I didn't even hear it. Taya didn't hear it. I said it twice. James got it right away. James was first. Right, Taya? Yeah. It's ridiculous. You said 37, right? Shut up. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. That was immediate literally immediate you got it immediate i don't even know i was probably still whispering i said it before you even said it i don't know does that count then james bransky said it too bransky said it immediately you guys both said it so fast that's crazy he put it before you said it <laughs> maybe i saw it out of the corner of my eye i don't know Let's do it again. You want? You guys want to do it again? <laughs> what we should do. Why did you do best out of three? Best out of three? How no, does that work? Too many people. Too many. Way too many people. Why don't we do that? a second round and send them more stuff? You want Knox? Bransky said he said it first. All good. What do you guys think? What should we do? I don't yeah. even know what the hell to do. Uh. James, if you said it before I said it, how does that work? I don't know. <laughs> Why don't we do another one and we can give away some of your Legos? Tay wants to give away my Legos. <laughs> he won fair and square. What do you guys think? James deserves it. I think James deserves it. He's a freaking... He's the man. James, ha James, have you ever won something on the channel before? I think... I feel like he has. I he he has he has he said he I have won something not too long ago. Give it to him. Who cares to give it to him? All right, all right we'll do it one more time. Just because James said he just won something. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time, guys. Uh, I'm gonna pick a number. Don't comment anything for the next thirty seconds. <laughs> right. Ready? Yes. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Tay's got it. Go. Oh, 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 Whoa. Mark. Mark's already got it, man. Mark. <laughs> that 
It's crazy. Man, this is crazy. Mark just won something too. Mark did just win something, but this time he won this. He won that fair and square. That oh, that time he it. won it fair and square too. Mark won. Mark took uh, Mark took my lucky number. I don't know if you know that's my lucky number, but that I was gonna go with that the first time, but I was like, no, nah, that's obvious if you actually know that that's my lucky number, which you guys probably don't know, no but now you do. That. Now you do. Now you do. All right, Mark, you won. You can split the winnings with with James if you want. <laughs> There's a ton of it. This box is full. Totally up to you guys. Half each. All right, we'll let Taya deal. We'll let Taya do that. Um, Mark, resend. Mark and James, resend me your address. Mark, let's let's do that. Let's do let's it? split it up. We'll make Taya do it because she doesn't know what lures are what. There's so much, Mark says. So, yeah, we'll, we'll let Taya split it up because she doesn't know, like, if one's worth more than the other. And it'll it'll be great. They're going to be color-coded. They're going to be color-coded. <laughs> I'm going to judge them by their energy levels. <laughs> okay, he said, James said okay, but he gets the big-ass bag of Sanko. Guess who doesn't know what a Sanko is? <laughs> you do know what a Sanko is. You went to the factory. Oh. Okay. <laughs> It's a Gary. Oh Yamamoto. my goodness! All right, guys. Well, uh, it's time to eat dinner. Uh, actually, it's time to prep dinner and then cook, cook dinner. Uh, hopefully, I can find the sheet because I looked for it a second ago and didn't see it. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we need to find our uh, meal plan sheet thing because I cleaned the house yesterday and I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's got to be somewhere, so I'll find it. But. I love you guys so freaking much. Uh, thank you all for the support. Pretty much any time we go live, there's going to be some sort of stuff like this. <laughs> Wicked fishing. I'll buy the Sanko bag. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of Sankos, bro. But I'm not going to use them anymore. Uh, lunker logs uh, for the rest of the year for me. Sorry. Sorry about that. I love you guys. Uh, good night. I'm going to eat. Cheers to you all, even though I just finished this about 30 seconds ago. Namaste. Have a good one. Good night. Tide lines. We'll see you guys soon. Peace out.